Welcome to DMV Pass CDL Prep Test Hazmat. This is to get you ready for your hazmat endorsement test. I'll be reading every question and then reveal the correct answer. Make sure you watch this video as many times as possible until you feel fully confident about passing your test at first try. Good luck. Question number one. A driver who transports root controlled radioactive material must have had special training by the carrier within the last blank years. The correct answer is B2. Question number two. Animal and human foodstuffs should not be loaded in the same vehicle with. The correct answer is C. Poisons. Question number three. Which signals may be used to warn of a stopped vehicle which contains explosives? The correct answer is B. Reflective triangles. Question number four. Whenever your vehicle is placarded, do not drive near open fire unless you. The correct answer is B. Can safely pass the fire without stopping. Question number five. A vehicle placarded for hazardous materials must have placards on blank sides. The correct answer is C4. Question number 6. A hazard class name or ID number may not be used to describe. The correct answer is A. Non-hazardous materials. Question number 7. Who is responsible for packaging, labeling, and preparing the hazardous material shipping papers for a common carrier? The correct answer is A. Shipper. Question number 8. The intent of the hazardous materials regulation has three parts. 1. To ensure safety of drivers and equipment. 2. To communicate the risk. And 3. The correct answer is B. To contain the materials. Question number 9. There are two lists that drivers, shippers, and carriers use to find out if a material is a regulated product. One of these is the The correct answer is A. List of hazardous materials and reportable quantities. Question number 10. If an X or RQ is in the HM column of a shipper paper entry, the The correct answer is A. Shipment is regulated by hazardous materials regulations. Question number 11. Only one of these shipping papers descriptions for a hazardous material is in the right order. Which one is it? The correct answer is A. Hydrogen bromide, non-flammable gas, UN 1048. Question number 12. A vehicle carrying explosives has crashed with another vehicle. You should not pull them apart until. The correct answer is B. The explosives have been placed at least 200 feet away from the vehicles and occupied buildings. Question number 13. You may not park a vehicle carrying hazardous materials within blank feet of an open fire. The correct answer is B. 300. Question number 14. The transport index of a radioactive material.
The correct answer is B. Tells the degree of control needed during transportation. Question number 15. When hauling hazardous materials, you must stop your vehicle and check any dual tires at least once every blank, whichever is less. The correct answer is B. 2 hours or 100 miles. Question number 16. To stop for the railroad trucks, you should stop blank your feet before the nearest track. The correct answer is C1550. Question number 17. You are transporting hazardous materials. When you are not behind the wheel, the shipping papers must be on the driver's seat or The correct answer is A, in the driver's door pouch. Question number 18. If hazardous material is spilling from your vehicle, do not move your vehicle. The correct answer is C. Any more than safety requires. Question number 19. The hazard class of a 2-liter bottle of material is flammable liquid. If the description also says poison inhalation hazard you should. The correct answer is B. Placard the vehicle both with both the poison and hazard class placards. Question number 20. You are going to be hauling hazardous materials over a route you do not know well. When should you check the route and the permits needed for the trip? The correct answer is A. Before starting the trip. Question number 21. Carriers must give each driver who transports class 1.1 or 1.2 explosives. The correct answer is B. A copy of FMCSR, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulation, Part 397. Question number 22. You should stop before crossing a railroad grade if your vehicle is carrying of chlorine. The correct answer is C. Any amount. Question number 23. You are hauling hazardous materials and you find that one of your tires is leaking, you must. The correct answer is B. Stop at the nearest safe place and fix it. Question number 24. When shippers package hazardous materials, they must certify that this was done according to regulations. The only exception is when. The correct answer is C. The shipper is a private carrier carrying their own product. Question number 25. When fueling a placarded vehicle someone must always be. The correct answer is B. At the nozzle, controlling the fuel flow. Question number 26. The total transport index of all radioactive materials packages in a single vehicle must not exceed. The correct answer is B. 50. Question number 27. Who is responsible for checking that the shipper correctly named, labeled, and marked a hazardous material shipment? The correct answer is C. Carrier. Question number 28. 
If there is an RQ before or after the item description on the shipping paper, it means the The correct answer is C. Carrier must report a spill of this material. Question number 29. You need to warn other motorists of a stopped vehicle which has a tank used for flammable liquid or gases. You may use The correct answer is C. Reflective triangles. Question number 30. You have hazardous materials leaking from a container, but not spilling from your vehicle. Drive to the closest area where you can get help. The correct answer is C. And call emergency personnel if they are needed. Question number 31. You have loaded a hazardous material into a cargo tank. What must you do before you move the vehicle? The correct answer is C. Close all manholes and valves and be sure they are free of leaks. Question number 32. When transporting chlorine in a cargo tank, you must have The correct answer is C. Both A and B. Question number 33. If the word forbidden appears in the hazard class column of an entry in the hazardous materials table. The correct answer is B. A common carrier must never transport the material. Question number 34. Your vehicle contains explosives, oxidizer, or flammables. No one may smoke within blank feet of the vehicle. The correct answer is B, 25. Question number 35. When handling packages of explosives, you must. The correct answer is C. Never use hooks or other metal tools. Question number 36. Who is responsible for safely transporting a hazardous material shipment without delay and keeping the shipping papers in the right place? The correct answer is A. The driver. Question number 37. A railroad crossing is ahead of you and you are hauling hazardous material. When you stop for the crossing, you can stop as far away as blank rail. The correct answer is A50. Question number 38. The basic description of a hazardous material includes the hazard class, the identification number and the proper shipping name. Which one must appear first in the shipping paper? Question number 39. Class 1.1 explosives must not be transported in a combination vehicle if it includes. The correct answer is B, a placarded cargo tank. Question number 40. You find an overheated tire during en route inspection. If you are hauling hazardous materials, you must. The correct answer is C, remove the tire and place it a safe distance from the vehicle. Question number 41. The power unit of a placarded vehicle must have a fire extinguisher with a UL rating of blank, BC or more. The correct answer is B, 10. Question number 42. 
If you need to placard a vehicle for hazardous materials, at least how many placards you will need? The correct answer is A, 4. Question number 43. A dated certificate of radioactive materials training must be The correct answer is C. Carried by the driver. Question number 44. A properly prepared uniform hazardous waste manifest. The correct answer is B. Must be signed and carried by anyone transporting hazardous waste. Question number 45. With most hazardous materials, you may park within 5 feet of the road briefly, if your work requires it. The materials, which are the exception and do not allow parking this close to the roadside, are The correct answer is A. Explosives 1.1 and 1.2 Question number 46 You have a vehicle without racks to hold cylinders of compressed gas. You may load such cylinders only if they are. The correct answer is A. Loaded upright or braced laying down flat. Question number 47. Who is responsible for finding out what permits or special routes you will need to haul hazardous materials? The correct answer is A. The driver. Question number 48. If you are in an accident involving hazardous materials, you should. The correct answer is B. Keep all people away and upwind of the accident. Question number 49. The intent of the hazardous materials regulation has three parts. 1. To ensure safe drivers and equipment. 2. To contain the materials. And 3. The correct answer is B. To communicate the risk. Question number 50. You are behind the wheel of a truck carrying a hazardous material shipment. The shipping papers must be on the pouch on the driver's door or in. The correct answer is A. Clear view within your reach. Question number 51. To find out if a shipment includes a hazardous material, you should. The correct answer is B. Look at the shipping paper. Question number 52. A vehicle contains 500 pounds each of explosives class 1.1 and 1.2. You must use. The correct answer is A. Explosives 1.1 placards. Question number 53. Which of the following must drivers have in their possession while transporting class 1.1 or 1.2 explosives? The correct answer is A. The written route plan. Question number 54. An X in the HM column of a shipping paper entry means The correct answer is B. The entry is for a hazardous material. Question number 55. What does the X in the hazardous materials column of a shipping paper entry mean? The correct answer is C. The material in the shipment is a hazardous material. Thanks for watching until the end. Are you willing to support this channel with a one-time contribution? You can send us super thanks. Doing so will help us grow and more people will benefit from our work.
we would be forever grateful if you do so. All you have to do is slide left on the section where the share button is located. Just tap on super thanks and follow the prompts.